Creating Stored Procedure Stored procedures are created by using Create Procedure Procedure Name Statement. Look at this syntax for creating a stored procedure. The stored procedure is named MyPro and thus defined with the statement Create Procedure MyPro As. The begin and end statements are used to define the stored procedure body and the body contains simple select statement with average function. When the SQL server processes this code, it creates a new stored procedure named MyPro. Now, it won't return any data because the code is not called a stored procedure. It simply creates the code for future use. If you want to use the stored procedure which you created, then use execute MyPro. The execute command is used to execute the specified stored procedure and displays the return result. All right, let's discuss this with an example, shall we? Open SQL Server Management Studio and expand the Databases node in Object Explorer. Expand your Database folder and click the Programmability folder. Then right-click on Stored Procedures and click New Stored Procedure. This will open a Query Editor window with the default SQL statements. Go to Query Menu. Click Specify Values for Template Parameters. It will open a Template Parameter window. Click the procedure name and change it to School SP. And click OK. Now it will show you a stored procedure, School SP. Modify the select statement in Select Star from School. To test the syntax, go to Query Menu and click Pass. It will display the message Command Completed Successfully. To create stored procedure, go to Query Menu and click Execute. Or simply, just press F5. If you want to execute the stored procedure you've created, then use the command Exec Procedure Name. Just type Exec School SP. Press F5 to evaluate the query. It will show you result as school information. Right then, I hope you've got a clearer idea about stored procedure. Next up, we're going to discuss how to drop the stored procedure which we've created.